You're watching the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 disassembly. Alright, first make sure you take out your SIM tray and your S Pen. Once you got those out of the way, next thing you're going to do, just like the Galaxy S7, you're going to have to heat up the back with a heat gun or a blow dryer, hair dryer, whichever you prefer. And then once you heat the back up, this takes a long time. You're going to have to be careful so you don't break the glass. You're going to need a suction tool and you're also going to need uh, some sort of pry tool like I, I use guitar picks. You can use whatever you prefer, but keep in mind anything metal or aluminum will damage the frame of the foam. So stick to something plastic. You could also use some business cards to help you with it around the edges so you don't crack the glass. What you're going to do, you're going to put your suction tool after you heated the back up and then you're going to pull up towards the bottom of the phone. You'll stick your one of your pry tools in or your business card, whichever you prefer. And then you're going to pry all the way around the corners and then the glass will come off. All right, once you got the back off, you're going to have 11 Phillips screws you're going to need to remove on the back of the phone. Go ahead and remove those. All right, once you got your screws out, next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna lift up this wireless charging pad on the back. It's held on with adhesive. So just peel it off gently, make sure you don't tear it. And then you're going to take it off with this back plate that's attached to. Alright, next you're going to take off this black plastic back over here. It also has an antenna line running through it. I don't know if it's for the Wi-Fi or for the cell. But your speaker is attached on the back as well. Alright, next we're going to take off the headphone jack. There's one Phillips screw holding it down. Remove that. And then it's connected onto the flex down here. Just pop the connector off. And then it could just pop it right off. All right, next you're going to disconnect all the connectors onto the motherboard. First take the battery off. It's right here. Just the battery connector. Once you got that off, you could pop off the connector for the screen in this corner. Then you got one connector over here, which goes for the power button. Pop that off. And you got a connector over here for the volume keys. I got one more connector over here. I'm not sure which one this goes for. Pop it off. And then you can pop off the iris scanner over here. Remove that. And you got your front facing camera right next to it. Remove that. And then you got your earpiece. There's another flex cable right next to it you can disconnect. Right there. And you got three cables over here on the bottom as well. Disconnect them one by one.
Once you disconnected those, you have another Phillips screw over here, holding the board down, remove that. All right, once you remove this screw over here, there's another Phillips screw on the top corner over here. Remove that one as well. So once you got those two holding the main board down, you're gonna disconnect the charger port flex from the main board, which was underneath the main board over here. Just pop it off, and then you can lift your main board up and away from the frame of the foam. So your main camera is attached from the back side of the board. And then here's your micro SD on your SIM reader. All right, once you remove your motherboard, you're left with the mid frame of the phone, which is holding the earpiece in there, the vibrator, your flex cables for your power switch and your volume keys, and you got your battery over here. And here's your charger port flex. So in order to remove the charger port flex, there's two Phillips screws on the bottom. Remove those. And then once you remove those, you can lift up your flex cable gently. Be careful. And you know what I just noticed? I guess when they're assembling this phone, this exact one. On the back side, they forgot to remove the tape. The plastic is covering the adhesive underneath it to attach it, so that's funny. They left this pink. I don't know if you guys can see it. This pink film over it. So it doesn't even attach to the frame. Okay, so you can start Gently peeling it up. And then get your mic over here. Or you got this piece on the side also. Goes on the side of the battery. If you don't tear that off, also, it's right here. Remove that and keep your working your way. Prying the charger port flex from the frame. There you go. These two pieces separate. And then the charger port is easily replaceable. And then you're left pretty much with the battery, which is held on with adhesive, so you just have to heat it up and pry it off. And then this side over here just pretty much houses your S Pen. It's held on with adhesive. You could pry it on the corners and then pull it up I'm sure left with this on the inside, it's empty since test pen's not in there all right Now we're going to go ahead and reassemble the phone. We're going to put this piece back in the corner. Once that's in, reseat your charger port back in the socket. Let's put that back in. Put your mic back in its place. Put 
the side piece that goes around the battery. Alright, next we're going to take the main board and pick it, put it back in its place. Make sure none of the flex cables get stuck underneath it. Alright, once it's in its place, you want to put the two Phillips screws back on to hold the board down. Once those screws are in place, reattach the cables onto the main board. And then once you have the main board in its place, that charger port flex, it automatically connects itself. Pushes down on it so it pops in. And then put your iris scanner back. Connect that. Put your main, I mean front facing camera back on. Connect the cable connector for that. Then next, put your headphone jack back in. Then connect the connector back on top of the charger port flex in its place. And then you can attach the battery cable back on the board, pop it in. All right, next. Put the screws back on for the charger port. And then put the one on for the headphone jack. All right, now put that black cover on the bottom back in. Just press down, pop it in place. And put the top part back with the wireless charging coil. Pop that in place. Now press firmly down on the adhesive on the charging coil so it attaches back on. Now once you're done with that, you're gonna, you're gonna put back the screws. All right, once you put the screws back in, you're gonna have to reattach your back glass plate. You can just heat it up a little bit and then put it on and press firmly down and reheat, reheat it so it attaches well. If you want, you can remove the old adhesive and apply new adhesive just to make sure it has a strong connection and strong bond. All right, once you've got your back on and attached, go ahead and power on the phone and you're ready to go.